seen Kevin on, on social media and I thought, what's this guy all about? And so I came to have a nose. And fast forward six years later and I'm on the stage talking to you. How awesome is that? So um, when I came, I wasn't planning on investing in property, although I've got quite a few now. Um, I wanted to learn from Kevin about business. Um, so how many in the room are looking to learn about business? Yeah? What about property? I'm glad your hands are up because he knows a lot about property. Um, Kevin's going to be covering gems and bullying. Anyone here for that? Yeah? Okay, my hand didn't go up years ago when Kevin mentioned about property and bullying because I said, I'm here, I'm a business owner. I, had, I thought I had a nice company, I had a business. I was working from my back bedroom um, doing a bit of training and um, after listening to what Kevin said, I put some strategies into place and now I have a proper company with staff and um, servicing training across the UK. And from when I sat there to where I am now, we've trained over 60,000 people. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah? Um, but, but what I listened to Kevin about his strategies and, and, and his, his five-foot plan, which you'll hear about later, I thought, actually, it doesn't seem that difficult to do property. I'll have a go. So I bought a few properties. Then I listened about the bullion. And now I'm investing in um, gems as well. So that's pretty awesome. So you're in for a treat, and um, I've learned a lot from Kevin over the years, and um, I'm really proud to stand here representing him and his brand today, um, because he's an awesome guy. So, um, do you want to hear a bit more about him? Yeah. Do you want to see a bit more about him? Because yeah. I've got a little show here I'd like to show you before I formally welcome him on stage. But um, this is what he's been up to in the last couple of years. Today's dinner date is 47-year-old entrepreneur Kevin, who lives life in the fast lane. I used to be a dairy farmer. I got tired of being kicked and pumped on by cows and I started borrowing money and buying houses and never looked back. How did I become a multi-millionaire? I asked people who are where I wanted to be. I asked them for advice. And, and that's the key really, is getting the knowledge, getting that belief, and following something that you're very passionate about. Kevin, would you describe yourself as an asset stripper or a predator? I wouldn't, but Ed and really bad possibly would, uh, and there is terms so of definition. And uh, does this distress you? I think my personal view is that he's lost touch of reality on this one, and um, business is integrating, whether we're in the supply side, production, or you're actually on, on the end of a wealth creator, as he calls it. Um, so I, I do take offence to his comments there. Kevin Green doesn't normally get his hands dirty. Hey, what's this? There's a just went out there. <laughs> He's actually one of the biggest private landlords in the UK. I own one third of the properties here already. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. There's um, one bit of a confession. I was volunteering and I was a health worker. Um, very much also a multi-millionaire. Oh my god. Your dream was that you wished to take Shannon swimming with dolphins in Florida. Mm. And uh, that's for you. It's a, it's a check for £7,500. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's to help you realise that dream. properties, I listened to what he had to say, and before I knew it, I'd been started winning awards. 
Wales. I've met Temperley Gwen, best educated in Wales. Then we won best services in Wales. Then we won an award for community contribution. Then I was given female entrepreneur of the year. That's not bad, is it? Just from sitting there listening to what Kevin put into place. So I copied him and then I became successful myself because when you surround yourself with successful people, guess what? Guess what happens? It rubs off. You become successful too. You become your environment and that's what happened to me. I got sucked into this environment of success and I became successful. So not only did I win Female Entrepreneur of the Year in 2015, I won it in 2016 and 2017. So I became successful in my own life. So that was really awesome. And I followed Kevin and I watched what he did and before I knew it, I was in St. James's Palace saying hello to Prince Philip and getting another award for all the work that I'd done from the strategies that I copied off Kevin. How awesome is that? Pretty good, hey? And now, part of my role in Wales, I sit on the policy unit and I talk to 